we're responsible for producing the reserves and developing future reserves in the North Sea as safe as possible. Um, our primary goals are to um, have no harm to people or the environment. People in the team are quite diverse, people from all different parts of the UK and, and around the world providing technical support and trying to keep the assets producing all day every day. Um, yeah, we make sure the world stays safe during the operational phase of their life, so that includes um, all the maintenance or any enhancements that we need to do to the well. So when the subsurface team say that they want to do an intervention to, to see if, the, um, if there's water in the well or if there's um, any scaling problems, then our team will help making sure the well's integral for them to go into. So I started in the, on the graduate scheme at Centrica, so that was about five years ago. Okay. So I started in the renewable sector and worked in offshore wind farms, then progressed on to Centrica Storage and worked offshore and on the platforms and terminals there. And then I've come up to the exploration and production company and I've been here for about three years now. I've had a great experience while I've been at Centrica, getting to work in different countries, different working with different teams, different locations. One thing that really sticks out about Centrica is, an, is a conscious move to uh, make our organisation um, diverse. Yeah. And uh, in particular, um, the huge amount of energy investment that we've put into um, recruiting and progressing um, females in technical roles, um, it, it definitely stands out and there, there's no doubt about it. Um, you know, the effort Centrica has put into bringing school children in, we've opened their minds to what it might be like to come into a, an ENP company and be a, a well engineer or uh, progress to a, an asset manager or anything else. And, I think Centrica should be really proud of what they've done there. I've definitely noticed the Wells team here at Centrica has got quite a few females, which I haven't seen in many other companies or from heard from any of my friends in other operators. So mm. definitely looking to have a diverse range of people in all, to, all teams that we have mm. here at Centrica. Clearly um, the commodity price has really been impacted over the last uh, two years. Towards the end of last year, um, our company looked at the bigger picture and we decided rather than um, abandon an asset which was had been very profitable for us up until the, the price drop, we um, took advantage of the supply chain and we actually um, got funding from uh, the, the board of Centrica to actually drill a new well in an asset which was really moments away from being um, uh, decommissioned. So rather than abandon the asset, um, our economists, our subsurface team, um, our contractors all worked together to get a, an extremely economic solution. Which, which today I've just been informed that we're going to spud that well, which is to start drilling it yeah. um, on Monday next week. Yeah. And we're going to use a rig that's been cold stacked, so sat dormant for quite some time. So um, even more uh, indirectly, we've got several hundred people employed in that project for the next two months. So I'm, I'm really proud of that. So a few years ago when I was in the drilling team, I went over to Norway to work on um, an, a new, new um, technique to drill. So this was um, core tubing drilling, so it had never been done before in the oil and gas industry. I was offshore on the vessel during the operation and reporting back to the Norwegian government daily to be able to sort of give them an update on what we were doing and they were really pleased with, this, with the outcome of the project and it was great success.